Hi, it is Tuesday, April 16th, and I, since I haven't talked yet this month, I wanted to give you guys a little update on what, on how things have been going and what I've been up to. I have a busy day today, so hopefully I'll get a bit of that recorded for you, but it's been a pretty good month so far. We're about halfway through. I think I recorded clips of most of these things. But first of all, I got a keychain finally. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have known that I've been looking for a keychain for a really long time. I finally found one. I was having a lot of issues. I would find one that was really cute, but it would either have a like, like a fluff ball attached to it. And I wouldn't, the description, like the title of the keychain would say like, like fake fur. But then like, if you went into the description, of like what materials it used. It would say like rabbit hair or something or it would have a strap attached to it and it wouldn't list what the strap was made out of so I didn't know whether it was like PU leather or leather or something that just looked like leather. So I was having a really really hard time finding a keychain because I wanted a cute one to put on my keys and I ended up getting a acrylic like charm keychain. I'll show it to you here but it is from Me So Happy. Um, besides that, I also finally bought a printer, which I needed to do more stuff with. I've done, I've just done one print test just to see how the colors look and if it's sharp and stuff and the print quality was amazing. So I'm really happy with that. I think I'm going to do a special like print for all of my patrons that get physical rewards. So the sticker tier and the artist trading card tier. I will have a print tier eventually. And I'm working on that, but I think just for now I'm going to send everybody a print just as a thank you because the reason I was able to get the printer was because of Patreon, which I'm extremely grateful for. Um, besides that, Bo and I finally got to do some screen printing, which I have been looking forward to for months. I was going to record that and make a whole video on it, but I didn't get as much recorded as I would have liked, which was the video I was supposed to edit today was that and post it on Friday, but since I don't have very much recorded, I think I'm going to end up editing the Q&A and posting that on Friday. But we did that. I still need to iron the designs and wash them to make sure they stick. But I just did some Japanese text that said vegetables on our tote bags for our grocery shopping and then some scrap pieces of fabric, which I guess could be patches or something. So those need to be ironed and washed and dried to make sure the print sticks. Um, I also finished that oil painting that I was working on last month. So that's finally done and listed up on the shop. I'm not sure if anybody's going to going to be interested in purchasing it because it's a much higher price point than what my artwork usually is. It came to a little over $300, but that's up on the shop if anybody does want it. <laughs> and uh, right after that, I actually started on the next painting. It's going to be this year's um, self-portrait. I like to do one of those every year, and this year I guess it's going to be an oil painting. Um, with that painting, I, last year, you might have noticed that I tried to be pretty 
honest with my um, self portraits. Last year I showed a lot of like blotchiness in my face and uh, acne, but what I want to do this year is I'm still going to include acne because I do have acne and freckles and dark circles under my eyes. And then also I want to include a little bit of my mental state, which was kind of a difficult concept for me to come up with, but I've been thinking about like emotions a lot lately. So hopefully when that's done, you will like it or at least understand it maybe or get something out of it. But that's back there. I've been working on that. I'm almost finished with the first layers. Beginning of the month, I painted and designed a sticker for my patrons. I asked them, I did a poll on Patreon asking whether or not they wanted a sticker of something new or an old painting and they, um, it was like 60% said something new. So I painted a painting for that and got it all like ready to be a sticker design and ordered that as soon as possible. I still haven't received them. I think I'm supposed to get them by the 22nd, so waiting for that so I can take pictures of them and post to Patreon about it. I also need to paint all of the trading cards for this month next week, I think. But now today, I need to get everything in my planner because I didn't do that yesterday. I've just been working on that painting like constantly for two days. I need to catch up on my Japanese because I'm also incredibly behind on that because of working on the painting and I need to edit a video, whether that be a Q&A or the screen printing or something. I need to upload that to YouTube and make the thumbnail for that, which doesn't really seem like that much, but it's going to be pretty time consuming. <laughs>
April 20th and I just finished working on the prints that I'm going to be sending out to my patrons this month. Everyone who has a physical reward this month on Patreon is also going to be getting a print. This is was a really great chance for me to say thank you and also get to know my printer a little bit which was fun-ish. Before getting the prints correct I had seven prints that weren't quite right which feels like a massive waste of ink <laughs> mainly but um, I've been keeping track of how many prints I've done total that way when I run out of ink I can have an idea of how many prints I get out of each thing of ink if that makes sense so I can um, do some estimates for now I'm leaving my print prices as they are and hopefully I'm still making a profit, but I will find out once I need to buy ink again. I also have my eye on a cabinet to put the printer on that will fit perfectly and also to hold all of my printing supplies and shop stuff like stickers and whatnot so it doesn't have to sit on a box on my shelf. I feel like this will make it a lot easier. It's all, one, all in one place. I'll probably put it right next to my desk and should make um, fulfilling orders a little bit easier. The one I'm looking at is $40. So I probably won't get that this month since I've already spent quite a bit because of the printer and uh, ordering stickers and everything. But I'm gonna keep my eye on that and then hopefully buy it soon. I also need to make a cover for it because I am concerned about uh, cat hair getting in it because my house is full of cat hair all the time. <laughs> it's just like in the air and I don't want it to hurt my printer so I'm gonna make a cover for it I think. I still have a lot left to do today. I need to record a voiceover for a video going up next Friday or this Friday I guess. It's Saturday. I need to record all of my palettes because I'm hopefully making a palette tour video soon. I need to sign all of these prints and put them in protective plastic. I probably need to order more of those um, plastic bags. In case you're wondering why I still use plastic bags on my prints, it's because they are, they are archival quality, which means that you could literally just leave your print in that bag forever and it won't turn, it won't yellow. So I kind of want to keep that. Everything else I am switching to play compostable, like biodegradable things. I'm not using biodegradable plastic, don't worry. Biodegradable plastic isn't good, very good for the environment and it doesn't you can't put it in your compost you have to take it to a special place and a lot of those places don't even accept biodegradable plastic so 
Preferably I want all of my packaging besides the print protectors to be able to be thrown in your house, like your home compost. So yeah, <laughs> sorry, I guess I didn't really need to explain that. I also have a order to pack today. So what's to do for the rest of the day? I've already gotten a lot done. Good morning. It is Sunday, April 28th. Um, just a couple of days left in the month. I just finished posting to Instagram, uh, reminding people that it's the last couple of days to pledge to my Patreon to get this month's sticker. 
and finished all of my Japanese reviews on Wanikani. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but I finally got to level 8. But today I'm going to start packing up my Patreon rewards and um, I have a couple orders on the shop that I need to pack up as well. I ran out of the clear plastic sleeves. The plastic sleeves are supposed to be here on Monday or Tuesday. I'm really hoping for Monday. I think I'm supposed to send them out on Tuesday. I usually send them out on the last day of the month. But let me get started on that. And then I also need to start importing everything for this vlog and hopefully start editing it. I have a couple more things I actually want to do for Patreon, but I don't know if I'll get it done this month. I want to do a draw this in your style or something like that. And then I also really want to start live streaming on Patreon. I haven't figured out how I would do that yet because the main option is through YouTube and YouTube always seems to wash out my, my videos and it kind of bothers me. <laughs> because it's not really accurate to how the artwork looks. But let's get started on importing the, the vlog footage and while I'm doing that I will pack orders and such.